If you want, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is gonna be my February TBR, aka announcing the books that I'm hoping to read this month. Uh, things are gonna be different for this month. I'll talk about the reading challenge I'm going to be doing in a second because I need to talk about the book club, the Patreon book club of the month. You voted and chose The Blade Itself by Joe Abercrombie, which is an adult fantasy. It was so close, so close. Uh, the other books will be read at a different point during the year, so no worries, we'll get to them. But for anyone interested, I will be linking the Patreon down below. It's $1 to participate. And I shall be doing a video when I hit the midpoint so we can discuss the spoiler section of that and then at the end for that section. The only thing I know about this series is that uh, it's adult fantasy and I believe people are saying it's not super action-packed so maybe more character driven. I'm excited nonetheless. Uh, I have had this on my shelf for way too long and in my 21 books of 2021 um, I opened the wrapping of my trilogy because I had yet to do this and my copy is actually damaged which is like so annoying because it's been too long I can't return it uh, but yes uh, still so I've been meaning to read for super super long and I am super excited it doesn't look that big but it's over 500 pages so it's going to be our first big book of the year so buckle up we have 500 pages to read with that said, uh, things get a little bit more complicated because last year I had done in February because February is so satisfying as a month. It's like four weeks, you know? Um, I'm gonna be doing once again the one week, one shelf challenge, which uh, was kind of rocky last year because frankly, all my shelves are divided by genre. So if I pick a shelf, I stick to one genre, which you can do the same with me if you want to. And last year I picked but well, from the jar, you know, it's not my choice. Uh, the classic one, for example, which got a little bit more difficult than I expected because most of my classic are not necessarily small and uh, they tend to be harder to read and it was whew, intense, but I really still enjoyed it and I'm hoping that uh, things will go smoother this year. So once again, I have put all my shelves in this little cat jar. I'm gonna be picking a new genre or shelf to read every week so you can participate with me. I'll announce the topic the week before or at the end of the vlog of each week so you can uh, try and do the same thing with me but I'll keep the books a surprise just for fun. Uh, one thing because it was a last minute decision I'm not as prepared as I was last year uh, in the sense that I don't have audiobooks on my waiting list at my library from uh, of the books that I have on my shelves so um what I'm gonna be doing is that I will be reading one physical book at least from that specific shelf. And then I'll be picking up an audiobook from the same genre at my library. So I think that's kind of fair. Uh, it's the easiest way I could make it sense. Obviously, if I have access to uh, a, a book or like the next book in a series um, from the book on that specific shelf, I'll do that obviously. But yes, just in case to make it a little less stressful. <laughs> Hopefully, one of these weeks ends up being fantasy because I do have to read that one at one point. Um, with that said, I do have like six shelves that are straight up fantasy. So if I pick any fantasy uh, shelf, I will be reading that book. What shall we be reading for the first week of February? I'm nervous to be honest, but at the same time, I'm really excited. Uh, I feel like I want to make it a point to um, read some of the books that I have on my shelf because I tend to get excited with new purchases. But with the whole pandemic, I've bought like probably like five books in the last year, which not necessarily a bad thing. I do miss library sales a lot, but uh, yeah. Okay, let's pick the book, the genre, I should say, the shelf. <sighs> ooh, ooh, shelf 11, which uh, six. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm counting because I do have genre on it. <laughs> Can you see it? I don't think so. Uh, it's historical fiction and contemporary, which uh, this is my shelf, like the one right behind under <laughs> the rainbow shelf, and it's like a mess. Uh, I have everything that I don't read a lot of. I, I wrote historical fiction and contemporary, but I also have uh, romance, not that I have a lot, and I have some magical realism in there too. So uh, that's going to be the genres. <laughs> it's kind of a mix uh, that we shall start the month, the week, reading it, and then I will be posting every Sunday. Um, I know my schedule is supposed to be Wednesdays and Saturday, but again, to give myself the full week, it's going to be Wednesdays and Sundays for February. So every Sunday, I will be posting the vlog of me reading that genre, and then I'll announce the genre for the next week. I'm kind of curious what books I'm going to be picking, though. Ooh, I think I know. I think I know. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to see you on Sunday.
Well, no, actually I need to do my wrap up for the month of January. I hope you're as excited as I am. Thumbs up, subscribe. I will be putting more videos on the screen that I recommend you check out and I shall see you very soon in an upcoming video. Bye.